and welcome to the show. Now, every so often in the course of filming, or whether it be from a stream, or whether it be from a film event, sometimes races don't make it in to a video, and occasionally I like to go back and sort of find some particularly exciting ones and put them together. So here is a couple of uh, odds and ends of racing that uh, most definitely deserve to be seen properly. Okay, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Um, I mean, it's not the fastest vehicle here, but it could be an awful lot worse. Someone has a rocket bike, you lucky sod. Uh, yeah, I mean, that'll take the lead early on, which is fine. I mean, yeah, I don't mind starting off in this. Uh, it's, you know, a solid vehicle. Are they not going to use the rocket boost on the bike? Maybe not. Maybe didn't realise. Someone did have a Batmobile. Okay, Menacer. It's not crazy fast, but it's better probably than the Ripsaw. Chimera's exploded. Oh, Gliska has a jet. I mean, that's probably one of the better... If you're going to get an aircraft, that's the one to get, really, for this section. Oh, dear, I saw a buggy fall off the side. Uh, this thing with a little bit of slipstream isn't actually that bad in terms of pace. Uh, we, got, we had to check up a little bit behind the truck. Crane has exploded. Please don't be a sailing boat. It is not. Happy days. Uh, admittedly, none of the top group have got particularly unlucky with their boats, barring Absol. I think that was Absol, who is living up to their name. Uh, we gone dinghy and dinghy. I think we have. I will take dinghy and dinghy. It's not the best boats in the world, but it's pretty good. Uh, Gliska is having a hell of a... Well, oh, hell of a shadow. A hell of a first round, although has got, by the looks of it, a big jet. Uh-oh. Uh Please don't be a microlite. Okay, no, we're not. Okay, we are good. We are good here. Unfortunately for us, it's very busy. Oh! <laughs> Liam has been bopped out of the sky. <laughs> Never seen a helicopter do that before. <laughs> Poor Liam. Oh! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, don't mind me, don't mind me, I'm a little faster than the Warthog. Uh, <laughs> Liam had a bad day. Oh, and the Warthog spud on the landing. Okay, we are up to second. It's quite nice. Less nice. God's sake. Might as well go feed Eve now. Shadow, can you pick me up? It is the first time I've ended up with a lawnmower. Oh no, what a crying shame. I have to reset. I'm actually quite grateful for that. We were going to have to reset anyway. Oh no, we were, uh, we were killed by someone. Thank you. I don't even know who it was, but I appreciate it. We have a rule where you're not allowed to just instant re reset your vehicle, but... Uh, much uh, is much appreciated, whoever uh, whoever hit us. Okay, we've got the Toro. It's not brilliant, but it's so much better than... It's so much better than the, the lawnmower that I'm not going to mind all that much uh, here. Okay, jet ski is fine. There we go. Uh, we will get past... I don't know who you are, but we will we will overtake. We will maybe make our way towards the top ten, if at all possible, here. Can I get the Nakata or whatever it was? Uh, not really what we wanted. However, it's going to have to do... I think the Swift's one of the better helicopters? Uh, I can hear a plane behind me, which I don't want. Oh, hello. Yeah, you two can go past. I've not handled that corner very well. A lot of that, though, was just desperately uh, trying to get out of the way of those. Okay, Nero Custom. Pretty good vehicle. This section here is not the... I would have preferred this car on the next section. However, you know... Oh, someone has a tractor. I don't have much better. Ah, some other people are getting screwed with terrible vehicles. I feel better, you know. No. <laughs> I feel I feel much better when it is others getting screwed. We we had a lovely second place. It was great. We weren't that far away from Gliska. Everything was looking like it was in on for a good a good run, and then we got screwed. Uh, okay, speeder. Is this thing good? 
It feels like it's pretty decent. So I don't think it's as fast as the long fin or whatever it is, but that seemed like it was okay. Again, dinghy's not too bad. Um, we will go past Crane, who is having a sail. Uh, Pig Dog is to the lead of the race. Actually, we're not a million miles away from the lead battle, considering. Um, up we go. Ooh, what are we? This thing, I think, is pretty fast, from what I remember. Uh, in fact, it's so fast, we are kind of catching up to Longbow's jet. I don't want to crash and tangle myself. Oh! Yeah, this thing is seriously fast. Uh, now, oh, Batmobile! Yes! Okay, this is good. I've got to be a little careful I don't actually overshoot this next checkpoint. Uh, right. Aim myself down. I fired my rocket to try and sort of carry momentum through the checkpoint, and it has worked a bit. Oh, God, there's somebody with a ramp car. There is somebody with a blimp, is that I see back there. Uh, oh, this has fallen off. Oh, purple car's got, got hit by a ramp car. Funnily enough, a ramp car does what a ramp car does. Ramp car was actually useful at this point. There's a lot of vehicles close together here. Oh, and Longbow maybe has become a, has become the sailboat. Someone has bounced their boat onto the rocks. That's unfortunate for you, not for me. Uh, we are going to stay in dinghies. I'm okay with this. I am a okay with this. And Danger Man is in the like sun, whatever it is, the slightly slower of the normal boats. We have somehow got ourselves to the lead of the race. Wait for it to be a microlight now. Uh, it is... Um, whatever this is, a mogul. It's not very good, is whatever it is, but... I guess it could be slightly worse, is what we're going to take away from this. Uh, it could be... It could be a Titan, it could be the Vulcan, it could be all sorts of stuff. Uh, so the fact that it isn't one of those... I will accept. There goes Gliska. Oh, we laughed at Gliska falling off, but then Gliska has got quite a fast plane. Uh, Ewan is going to go past with the Avenger. Yeah, I mean, it's not good. Oh, and this, of course, and a sea has made another appearance. Ewan has fallen over but recovered it. Naturally, and a sea is going to have to make an appearance once more. Um, it, has, it has been the, the mainstay of this stream. Ah, oh, no, I don't want to be a... Don't want a jetpack. Well, this is terrible, isn't it? Um, although, I guess it's not... Well, the thing with the jetpack is it's okay at this part. It's the going down part, I think, is where it's bad at. Well, ah, and I'm just terrible with it. I'm just trying to be a bit too brave through that corner. Um, right. Can we? How quickly does it descend? Oh, it descends okay. I was expecting it to descend worse. Uh, okay, jet ski. It's good enough news for me. Who from the lead group is going to end up sailboated? Probably me, because I've said it now. Uh, oh, we've got Toro, which should be faster than it is. It looks so much faster than it is, but... Yeah, we lost some ground. Um, exactly, Eve. We needed your good luck. Aaron's exploded somewhere along the way. Um, we do need to watch out for bushes. You are not wrong. Bushes are a scary thing. Come on! Oh, yes. N N Nakota uh, is seriously quick. This is what we wanted uh, to try and make up some of the ground we lost in all of this. We are up to third now. Danger Man, we are racing for position here. So this will be, hopefully, four. Whoa! Danger Man's diving down as well. That is for second. We became an entity. Driver, we're not racing for position. Ewan is the one we're trying to chase down as we go on to the final lap of the race. Come on. Come on. Police car, uh, not a police car, it's a cipher. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a cipher. Which one of those up ahead is Ewan? Is the real big question. Oh, Danger Man's got an even faster car. Come here. Come here. I need your slipstream. No. No. We needed the slipstream from you. I don't know what Ewan was in. Didn't see. Is anyone going to get screwed? There is a sailboat ahead. Is that Ewan? Oh, no. on the sun trap. It is! Ewan's a sailboat! Ewan is a sailboat! Ewan's lead is about to be eviscerated. Danger Man has now got the lead of the race. Absol is... Okay, we're a jet ski. Go, 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 go! It's going to come down to the planes. It is going to come down to the aircraft at the end. 
I don't know what boat Ewan is in back there. I think Ewan is the green boat. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, Ewan, Ewan had a sailboat, but then at least got the very fast boat here. What planes are going to be given? Oh, I spot a helicopter. Oh, and we've got the Howard. Yes. Okay, this is good for me. It's bad for the helicopter, but there is another fighter of some description. It's Danger Man, who I think is going to take victory here. Ewan got the helicopter. Uh, however... Oh! Something's happened to Danger Man! Something's happened to Danger Man and I don't know what happened and we got victory! <laughs> what happened to Danger Man? Did Danger Man crash it in the ceiling? Or something? I don't know. I'm really confused. Danger Man was ahead. I mean, we had the right plane to finish that. Danger Man ended up fourth and that still hasn't finished. Something went on at the end there. That was insane final round. That was an absolutely ridiculous final race. We had all sorts of ups and downs in that one. There is Danger Man. Oh, was Danger Man the little helicopter? Did that get stuck somewhere? I don't quite know. I'm very confused as to what happened. <laughs> I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Uh, we had brilliant plane luck. I mean, so basically all of our bad luck went into the lawnmower. Um... And, yeah, we had brilliant luck afterwards. Eve did bring us wonderful luck in that one. You are not wrong. You are not wrong at all there from, from Pengi with the bits. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Eve, Eve, you will get extra dinner now for bringing us the wonderful, the wonderful luck. Well, we head to Spa for our next race. I already wasn't feeling massively confident about this one, and now we find ourselves right at the back. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to really be a track for my car, but uh, we're going to give it a go. My Porsche is great handling, but yeah, the long straights are going to be a real problem. It's just got none of the uh, I say got none of the straight line speed probably required for this. We shall see though. If we can sit in the draft of some cars, it might not be too bad. I mean, so the other thing is. While I don't know Spa particularly well, and I don't think it's going to be an amazing fit for my vehicle, tyre wear-wise, no one really knows. Uh, people are, Some people are expecting to go medium hards. So I don't know. I'm hoping medium, medium will work. Of course, I don't really know what the tyre wear is going to be like. And Pega is getting brave down the inside there. Uh, it is very busy. Oh, I think the Pulsar may have made contact with the F50 through there. Uh, it's got quite busy at the end of the Camel Straight. The F50 has actually managed to merge back on quite well, all things considered, in that one. Fair play. Uh, <laughs> can we do something around the outside of a BMW? No, not quite. Oh, BMW got into the back of the Ferrari through that one. Uh, that's fine. We are still on the outside. I'm hoping we can get the move completed here. What is a tyre wear looking like? I mean, that is, at the end of the day, the big question in this. Uh, we really are not sure uh, what... We, I mean, it looks like maybe... Although, though this part of the lap is going to be really hard on the tyres. So, trying to do three laps on a set of medias... I, I know it's a little bit silly. We've had to be a bit extreme in terms of the settings. Uh, or, I say have to be. I have chosen to be a bit extreme in terms of the, uh, in terms of the choices here. Um, if it's 30% a lap you will not get away with mediums the whole time. Uh, if it's 25% a lap, uh, I mean, I think you're going to end up... I think medium hard is going to have to be the way it goes. There may even be some vehicles that have to do hard hard, depending on how much they chew their tyres up. Uh, yeah, that might be a thing. I found a car and faster than that in a straight line. It's a very rare occurrence with this Porsche. Uh, <laughs> although the F50 is always a little bit of a handling beast really uh, yeah, I think we I think I mean, I'm looking at the tire where I'm sorry, I'm looking a little bit at where we are in, in the traffic and I think medium hard is gonna have to be the way it goes I just don't see 30% a lap you're just not gonna make it you're just not going to make that third lap on the mediums unless your car is incredibly gentle on the mediums, which is possible but not for me. Certainly not for me, and not for my car uh, in this. God, it's very, very crowded in front of us as well. Uh, I don't know how many people are going for. I don't know if anyone would have started on hards. It's possible some may have done. Um, 
you know, trying that alternate strategy. Uh, we've got a great run up here. Well, we're a little bit, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit adventuring from us. <laughs> uh, there was some gaps we tried to find in all of that. Oh, we've, we're faster than Lotus down a straight as well. That's something. Not quite going to go for it to the inside though. And I mean, it is very, very busy up here. We don't actually need to. The Lotus made a little error through all of that. And that will put me oh, past Hordes. There was almost a tiniest little bit of a gap. To be fair, I think Hordes is faster uh, with that Mustang. To be fair, I, as I said, I really don't I really don't know Spa very well. Um, so, yeah, I'm not expecting to do great at this one. Uh, we will fight side by side with the SVT on the exit. Uh, who has a better drive off the corner? It's going to be the Mustang, I think. Although we are still there, kind of sticking it alongside. I will fall back into line, though. Uh, at the moment, I think we're better off. I think Hordes has got more pace. If anything, I'm better off letting Hordes go chase after Ninetales and Longbow. Slow them down and let me potentially catch up. Uh, now, who is going to... The big question is, someone's going to be trying a different strategy, right? We're not all going to be starting on mediums because someone's going to try and look for a gain. Someone's going to look for a gain. Oh, sorry, Ninetales. <laughs> that was a lot earlier on the brakes than I was expecting it into here. Uh, it, might be, it might be struggling with tyre wear, of course. We are potentially going to start seeing cars that are, I think Longbow's Porsche may be starting to hurt a little bit. Uh, we are certainly not going to be able to go another lap around this circuit. Uh, it is going to be pit stop time any minute. Ewan, Ewan has gone adventuring. Ewan's had a massive off over there. I don't quite know how that one's occurred, but Ewan's tyres may have completely given up the will to live at this point. Uh, right, we will dive under brakes. There are a few cars going on. So I'm going to guess those are cars on hard tyres. Uh, a lot of cars have carried on around here. So we dive in the pits. Um, I don't see Ewan, which makes me wonder what on earth happened back there. We're going to have to go for hard tyres. There's simply no chance we are making that three laps we're not making on the mediums. And I would imagine everyone coming in here, well, I mean, you might try, someone coming in here might try shoving on mediums. I wish, I really wish, I don't know why it's not a thing, it really should be on the screen, there should be some uh, indication of what tyres people are on. Um, but yeah, we are going to light up the rears ever so slightly as we come out of the pit lane. Right, we come out in 13th place. A bunch of cars came in, I mean, we've come out with Impega and Longbow. Uh, we're a little bit ahead of the Esprit, I think that was uh, Leopard. Now, I mean, the medium, the hard, sorry, the hard tyres aren't going to give us a crazy amount of grip uh, through all of this. Uh, but yeah, we will do what we can. Now, the, the hope is, at this stage of the race, uh, those on mediums now, trying to extend, are going to lose a crap ton of time as their tyres give up the ghost by the end of their stint. Uh, Longbow's Porsche does not quite have the brakes to make that work. I mean, I'm now got to try and figure out what my car is like on the hard tyres. Uh, <laughs> see if I've got any grip with it, if I've got any go with it uh, like this. Um, I mean, I have driven it on hards once and it was alright. It wasn't amazing, but it's never going to be. Uh, I've driven this car on softs and it's lovely. It's actually a nice A-class car, this one. It's a little bit heavier than I would normally build it. But, uh, yeah, on hards it's a bit of a pig to drive. Uh, just, yeah, as I said, the hope is, the real hope, the cars trying to extend their mediums now will die. And I mean, those on those on the hard tyres, well, I'd say whoever may be on the hard tyres at the moment, uh, they have got to... Uh, well, they mean, uh, I mean, like I say, the mediums will go off by the end of the race, but probably not drastically. We don't really know. There's going to be, so, again, there's going to be though, that mix-up of strategies. Uh, we are just... For, I mean, for me... The main goal focus on chasing down the Alfa Romeo. Uh, I can't control what else is going on in the race, but as far as my strategy goes and this strategy, uh, Impega is sort of the leader of this one, and I ran uh, very wide trying to get on the power. We got away with it slightly better than Longbow did on the way into the pits, but that's not what we need to do. It's not going to help. It's not helping our lap time taking adventures like that one. But yeah, I mean, it's just, a lot of this is just sort of relearn, relearn what we can do with the Porsche, what the Porsche is capable of, because I have no reference points for it at all. 
uh, we will get slowed down. I think that 360 challenge has shredded its tyres. Uh, so we're going to, yeah, we know that's going in the pit. So they tried to stay out on medium, I'm going to guess, for a little bit too long. Uh, we will continue onwards. Uh, right, so the leaders are actually miles out in front. <laughs> In all of this, they have come out miles out in front. Drewski, I mean, they were quite a long way in front of us anyway. We have come out with nine tails and Scotty and Hordes. We have leapt Hordes in the pit stops. Interesting. We have leapt Hordes. We're actually not that far away from Brazen in all of this. It's very busy down there. Of course, these lot, Brazen has made a mistake coming up over the hill. I have also made a mistake up over the hill, uh, pushing a little, pushed it a little bit too hard this time around. Uh, that was, yeah, not ideal. We've been a little bit freeform on the old track limits there. Uh, what can we do? So Brazen will have better tyres. There is no doubt about that. Oh, Brazen missed the brakes. Uh, all got caught out by how early the Alfa Romeo had to brake on the harder tyres. Not sure which, but uh, the Golf had an adventure uh, there under braking and that will put us up into fifth place actually has really worked the undercut has really worked for us here um, i guess with those medium tires dying and whatnot uh yeah we've, we've late leapfrogged about five people uh in this i think we we're about 10th when we came in so yeah that has really really worked out well uh, we're not catching the leaders the leaders are way faster than we are however yeah, it has helped us in the overall uh, the overall running. I mean, considering I started literally at the back, uh, you can't ask for much more, really. But at the back, on a circuit that I wasn't necessarily expecting my car to be very good at as well. And I'm certainly not very good at. Uh, this is working out very nicely, indeed. It's unfortunate for Brazen. We'd, we'd like to have had that battle uh, and seen how that one progressed. And, of course, the group back there is having their own little tussle, which has really helped... Uh, really helped us get away. Longbow's kind of got stuck in that group. Uh, now, big lift through here. Can Pega slides the Alfa Romeo through that one. What else is helping me here is I've got slipstream. I, have no, I haven't got great straight line speed, but I'm getting towed down all the straights by an Alfa Romeo. Uh, that is also helping me out massively in this one. Uh, do we want to go down to fourth? Yeah, probably through that. I mean, how I'm going to pass the Alfa Romeo, I don't know. We are pretty good under brakes into this section here uh, we will get stopped for the very tight chicane and yeah, the leaders are pulling away from us. not really not really fussed about that nine tails has closed a little bit into that chicane the bmw not far away now oh that was late on the brakes i was kind of following the alfa romeo a little bit there there's a couple of cars there a couple of cars coming out of pits uh no never mind ignore me Ninetales has just got the better acceleration uh, down there. That was a foolish moment. That was a foolish moment by me. I was just asking too much of the Porsche at a critical moment. We have got through a Rouge and Raddy on very nicely this time around. Hortz has also carried a lot of speed up there. Uh, we've all carried good speed through this section. Impega struggling a little bit. We're in the draft of the BMW. It's a big slipstream train uh, going on down here. Uh, we will get on the brakes the bmw thinks about it it thinks about it but it's not quite got the space to do it uh, can we I mean, can we profit from anything going on here i don't know you get off the corner nicely uh, hordes is still behind nine tails is thinking about having a look of course me and impeg are struggling for grip at the moment nine tails is going to get up to fourth uh, we might not quite have enough ground here hordes is going to have a go at the Alfa Romeo. I was hoping we'd have enough enough of a gap that Nine Tails and Hordes couldn't catch, but they caught so much in the in the chicane at the end of the lap. I'm not going to go around the outside of that SVT Cobra. Not on, I say, worst compound tyres here. The only saving grace, maybe they will start hurting their tyres. I mean, so my tyres are now starting to hurt as well. So even if the mediums do go off at a faster rate than mine. Uh, Mine are already pretty gone off at this stage. I think Impegas might have gone off even more than mine, to be honest with you. I think the Alfa Romeo may be a little bit of a sitting duck here. Uh, we are to the outside. Oh, but it's very difficult to make that one stick. We're going to duck underneath. I think Impegas tyres have really had it. I think the Alfa Romeo has killed it even more than mine. Uh, we are up into sixth place. Now, Brazen, I guess, is the real big threat. Impega, I mean, we know Impega's car's pretty quick down the straights, but uh, I don't know if he's going to have any grip left to fight 
into the final couple of corners here. Um, God, be careful with the point. Yeah, Pegasus cannot get that thing to turn. Brazen could be a threat coming out of the chicane, depending on how much life is left in that gulf. Uh, we will get the Porsche stopped for this. It looks like Hortz is going to get that fourth place in the end. It's a drag race to the line for them. Brazen is very close to passing him. Pega, the Alfa Romeo is completely gone by the end of this. Oh, we'll take sixth. I mean, I couldn't quite get the fourth that I was hoping for. Um, however, I will be very happy. We're A, coming from the back. Uh, all the way up through the order, uh, or relatively far down, I should say, uh, all the way up through the order, and yeah, the strategy worked. Can't fault the strategy, particularly. Um, not my best, not my best of circuits, but uh, it definitely worked. <laughs> it definitely, it definitely worked. Uh, where did Longbow end up? Uh, where am I missing? Oh, there we go. Longbow ended up in tenth. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how the how the strategy panned out. Um, yeah, shame I couldn't get a little bit. Shame I couldn't hold on to that fourth, but, you know, that's how it goes. Oh, right. I can breathe again now.